Good morning. This is San Fernando Open Bible Morning Devotions. This is the Father's Heart. I'm Pastor Mike Lombard. For any of us, the older we get, the more sorrow and heartache we experience. I think for my wife and I, the loss of our daughter touched us deeper than any other loss. In our scripture today, we see Jesus ministering to great loss. In Luke 7, starting at verse 11, it says this, Now it happened the day after that he went into a city called Nain, and many of his disciples went with him and a large crowd. And when he came near the gate of the city, behold, a dead man was being carried out, the only son of his mother, and she was a widow, and a large crowd from the city was with her. So picture this. Jesus is pro approaching a town and a large crowd is with him. At the same time, a large crowd is leaving the town to bury a young man. Two crowds, different pur purposes, converging at the same place. One group is jovial and upbeat. The other group is somber and subdued. Verse 13. When the Lord saw her, he had compassion on her and said to her, do not weep. Jesus was a man of compassion. Compassion does not mean pity or even empathy. It has a root meaning of suffering together. Compassion goes beyond just feeling with someone. You also want to walk with them and to help them and to tangibly do something. 14 times scripture mentions Jesus having compassion. Often it was when he looked at a crowd of people who had come to him, even if it was in the end of a long day. He told parables to show us the importance of having compassion, as in the parable of the Good Samar Samaritan. Jesus said the Samaritan had compassion for the injured traveler. We also see Jesus' tender heart of compassion as he wept over Jerusalem, when he wept and when he wept over Lazarus' sisters as they grieved his death. Jesus' emotion was not simply feeling with someone or a group of people, but rather he wanted to do something to help them. Isaiah 53 describes Jesus, and it says that he was a man of sorrows, acquainted with grief. It goes on to say that he was, has borne our griefs and carried our sorrows. He feels deeply and then walks with us to lift our load. Verse 14, back in our story, that he came and touched the open coffin, touched the open coffin, and those who carried him stood still, and he said, Young man, I say to you, arise. So he who was dead sat up and began to speak, and he presented him to his mother. Who interrupts a funeral possession? Jesus can. Who feels people's pain and grief and is moved to action? Jesus is. Who ministers to grief in a way that no one else can? Jesus can. Jesus expresses his heart of compassion and his desire to help lift our load. In Matthew eleven twenty-eight 28 to 30, he said, Come to me, all you who are weary and burdened, and I'll give you rest. Take my yoke upon you and learn from me, for I am gentle and humble in heart, and you will find rest for your souls, for my yoke is easy and my burden is light. Do you hear it? Are you weary? Are you burdened? Come to me. I'll give you rest. He's offering an exchange. My rest, Jesus' rest for your weariness. My load, my light load for your heavy load. He says, I am gentle and humble in heart, not rough and boisterous. He walks into a hurting life gently and full of compassion. One more thought before we wrap up for the day. 2 Corinthians 1 verses 3 and 4. It describes God as the father of compassion and the God of all comfort. God is the father of compassion, the God of all comfort. Verse 4, who comforts us in all of our troubles so that we can comfort those in any trouble with the comfort we ourselves received from God. He comforts us so that we can in turn comfort someone else with the same comfort that we received from God. After our daughter's death, a nurse kept in contact with us for several weeks. Although we were in tears and wrestling with our grief, 
She felt that we had something that others needed to hear. So she arranged for us to be interviewed on a news station in a large city in the States. The comfort we had received from God was now flowing through us to touch others. Would you let God, God's comfort flow through you to touch someone else today? There's people who are in need. Father, I pray you take the brothers and sisters watching and let your comfort flow through them. And Lord, may you touch others through them today in Jesus' name. May you carry someone's load. Amen. God bless you. We'll see you next week. Thank you.